Days before the announcement of her divorce from Joe Jonas, Sophie Turner partied without a care in the world, according to a bar manager who spent the evening drinking with her. On Saturday night, the Game of Thrones actress drank drinks and shots during a rap party to celebrate the completion of production in Birmingham for her upcoming ITV series Joan. The event took place at the Dropshot Pub in Digbuff. There were about 70 members of the production team in attendance, and Herzen Stevenson, the bar manager, joined in the fun by sipping beverages with Sophie, 27. She was terrific company and a fantastic laugh, he told Mail and Line. She seemed so content and at ease, and I couldn't believe it. You never would have guessed she was divorcing her husband. We had a lot in common, so we spoke and drank for a long time. She is from Warwickshire, whereas I am from Coventry, and we were both partying there at the same time so we shared some pals. We talked about old haunts like the Smack Nightclub in Leamington Spa, Mr. Stevenson said. She was thinking back to those times when she used to go out, dance and drink. We had a terrific time laughing as we reminisced. She never once mentioned her husband, her children, or her intention to file for divorce. So, when the news broke a few days later, I was stunned. But it also made sense because Sophie had made it clear to me when we were together that she wanted to resume her wild partying days. I could see she missed those moments. After four years of marriage and just four days after the drop shot party, it was revealed that Joe, 34, had formally filed for divorce from Sophie. According to the papers, their marriage is irretrievably broken. Additionally, it was said that he saw her on their insecurity camera doing or saying something that made him decide it was time to end the relationship. She may have said or done something on the video outside the house that was not immediately evident, but according to TMZ, it was the final straw for Joe. Sophie felt stuck in her marriage and regretted not enjoying carefree, youthful fun after getting married to Joe and having two kids at a young age according to a friend of hers who did not want to be identified in the interview with Mail and Line. But while in drop shot, Mr. Stevenson made Sophie one of his famous blue raspberry mojitos, and they shared several of them. This allowed her to momentarily put her marriage problems behind her. In addition, they consumed shots of baby Guinness, a beverage created by combining Bailey's Irish cream, Kahlua and gin. We drank a lot, and the celebration was rather wild, he said. Despite the fact that her marriage had failed, she truly let her hair down and seemed to be having a great time. She doesn't act like a major celebrity at all, and is a really down-to-earth West Midlands girl. She even joined me behind the bar for a few drinks at one point while she was trying to plan some karaoke. The bar manager disclosed that a week prior to the party, he received a call from the production firm asking if they could host the event for free as an A-lister will be present. They refused to pay for the space, but they convinced us that having a well-known celebrity attend the drop shot would increase our publicity, so we agreed. Because Sophie was filming in the city, we had a hunch that she may visit, but we weren't certain. However, we recognized her the instant she entered. The party started at 7 o'clock, and Sophie showed up at about 9. It was over shortly after 2 in the morning, and the actress and her friends left together. Sophie is a real party girl who wanted the night to go on, so she was talking about continuing to somewhere else with her buddies, even though she was very wasted, according to Mr. Stevenson. But I wasn't surprised by it. Mr. Stevenson claimed that the only revenue produced from the party was from the selling of alcohol, Thus the bar was closed to guests. Cocktails range in price from £6 to £7, while shots cost about £3 a piece. He would not specify how much money was made from pub sales, 
just saying that it was several thousand pounds. Although Mr. Stevenson, who has appeared on Come Dine With Me and the Channel 4 dating show Naked Attraction, may have clicked with Sophie, her lawyers are not as fond of him. He claimed that after sharing popular Instagram images of him and her together, her legal counsel asked him to remove them. Nevertheless, he has refused. However, he said, the only reason we gave them our venue for free was because a big star was coming. The production company didn't pay a hiring fee. We must take advantage of that in some way by gaining as much exposure as we can. That is what companies do. It's great for Dropshot that I've been receiving calls and messages from all around the world. We must take advantage of Sophie's fame because it is not my fault that she is here. Why her lawyers are being so agitated baffles me. In a joint statement they issued on Wednesday, Joe and Sophie declared that their impending divorce was a shared choice. They announced their separation amicably after four beautiful years of marriage in a statement that was shared on Sophie's Instagram. There are many possible explanations, but this was truly a decision that was made in unison. We sincerely hope that everyone would respect our desire for privacy for ourselves and our children. The actress admitted that she felt she missed out on British university life after choosing to join Game of Thrones instead in an interview on The Graham Norton Show in 2019. I wish I had the university experience, she remarked. I wish I could have gone out gotten really intoxicated and puked in the middle of a club without anyone taking pictures.